We can feel down through strike, it's almost like the golf club is coming out of your hands. As we head towards the new season, I wanted to address a bit of golf psychology. To give you an insight into where I progressed with my playing career, go check out my recent video where I share a golfing journey to success. I battled with the yips with my pitching. I battled some discomfort when I was close to the green. Golf psychology has therefore been quite an important part of my ability to coming back and playing to a reasonable level. Today I wanted to address a few thoughts that I'd like to share with you that if when you're deep in the trenches of working on your golf game, it can be unsettling, shall we say, when you're going out and hitting shots, you're working on various fields, whether it be backswing fields, whether it be impact fields, you do enough of it and if you start to see golf shots flying off in different directions, when you're trying to master various components of your swing, I think it can be really unsettling that you're actually looking out on a golf ball making various bends in the sky. Golf psychology really is evolving as you're making these practice swings and these drills to a negative standpoint. You're going into the unknown of movement patterns that don't necessarily come naturally to you to start with. And then what's happening is you're starting to strike the golf ball and the ball's going off in different directions. So you're actually, whilst you're developing some mechanics, you are actually working negatively when it comes to your golf psychology. So this is an intermediary drill that I want you to apply to your game that will help you start to let the dust settle. And I, I talk about this with clients. See if you can go out and play and forget about it. Oh, what do you mean, Stuart? Forget about it. I can't do that. I've been standing here in an hour in front of you or been down the range practicing and, and I've been thinking technique, 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 and then you want me to forget about it? Absolutely. Golf psychology is really, really important to work on as much as takeaway, as much as impact. But what does golf psychology mean? Mental golf tips shall we say, or golf mental game, is all part of being able to extract yourself from impact, from takeaway, from what the inevitable pulling of the trigger is going to make you feel like. So when we start to hit golf shots and you've been working on your drills and whatever area of the golf swing that you've been looking to improve upon, when you look up, if you don't see a shot that looks something like that, goodness me, I get luckier and luckier every year I go on. It's a free iron, you know, today. If you don't see shots like that, you're going to really battle. So what I want you to do, one of the mental golf game tips that I would like you to, to work on is to, if you can, get yourself into a golf net. This is stage one get yourself into a golf net where you can't see the golf ball. I don't want to see the ball out on the range. You'll still have some feels down through strike, but I don't want you to be able to see the ball flight. So this is stage one. Stage one, I also want you to select a golfer of your dreams. A finished position that either reflects how you see yourself a through swing that reflects where you want to get to, but use a golfer that's out there that gives you the best image of how you want to finish. And I worked with a guy called Steve Webster for a good few years, and his thought was how Luke Donald finished in his golf swing. And it's funny, isn't it? A tour player thinking about another tour player. And it just shows you at the end of the day, we're all golfers, we're all trying to get better use whatever you need to use to make yourself play better. So in this golf psychology, we're trying to create a sensation within you that's going to make you feel secure, make you feel secure that when you pull the trigger, that you can have the hands off the wheel. And I talked about it in a few videos recently, how that we can feel down through strike. It's almost like the golf club 
is coming out of your hands. And if we can get the golf club coming out of your hands and letting go, it will give you the best opportunity to make you feel like the club is not going to be impeded by how you're going to try to control it down through strike. So letting go down through strike is important. Letting go of the grip pressure down through strike is give you the freedom, the mental freedom that you're not going to start to get involved with strike. So I've got in my mind a golf swing that I like the look of is someone like Stuart Appleby. So I like to have nice soft arms at the finish and a good structure to my, to my through swing. So I'm going to go up to the, the golf ball. I'm not going to worry about the ball. I'm just going to look down the range. And all I'm going to try to do is hit a shot and stand there and hold my finish for as long as I dare. And at that point, I'm just going to really tap into what this feels like. So when I'm standing over the golf ball, my thoughts and my vision and how I'm seeing myself is where I'm going to be at the end of the shot. The picture of Stuart Appleby in my mind is very clear how he finished his golf swing. If you're tired of paying too much for premium leather golf gloves, please go over and check out my channel sponsor, gxgolfgloves.com. Gloves that are trusted by elite golfers and tour players alike. A real quality golf club for much, much less than you'll be paying for your high street brands. Go check them out. Use my code GOODCOACHING for 10% off your next order. I'm seeing that when I'm looking down at the golf ball. I see the ball there, but I'm not really seeing the ball itself and me trying to get to hit it. All I'm interested in is how I'm going to feel at this point in the swing and how much I can create that image of Stuart and that image of me tying up. Now, the image could be Ernie Els. The image could be Tommy Fleetwood. Whatever your image is, it's going to give you the opportunity to start to develop your golf psychology of just making a pass at the golf ball and letting sleeping dogs lie down at strike. Let down at strike take care of itself. Don't allow the golf ball and the ball flight get involved with where the shot's going and how it's going to make you feel at this point in the swing. I want to just stand here, give yourself 5, 10, 12 seconds of just standing here, watching the, the screen, feeling balance, feeling some softness and feeling how light the grip pressure is. Because when you can start to tap into that and you think about how you're going to be at the end of your shot, you'll really start to get rid of the desire to get involved down at the bottom of the golf ball. You'll really start to feel how the grip will become lighter. You'll really start to feel balance. And you'll really start to sense how the golf ball doesn't interpret or, or get involved with your mental golf game. It doesn't have a negative effect on your golf psychology. Your golf psychology is going to give you the opportunity to either apply yourself in the best way possible or make it feel a little bit staccato, a little bit clunky. And when you start to get into that clunky effect, because you're trying to steer the club, all of a sudden, down at strike, it all feels a little bit jammed up. So the freer you can start to make yourself, the freer you can really tap into the mental side of the game in the picture that you're trying to derive by the end of the golf shot, the more chance that you might start to feel like the golf ball is not interfering with your ability to apply yourself. So the mental golf tips, the mental side of the golf game are super important for you to be able to go out there and play the golf of your dreams. I think you'll find that's good golf coaching.